Well, as you can see, Santa Kaka. <laughs> as you can see, I'm working on the, the half of the body. You can see it separating right there too. Here's the other half, a quarter of it. That's already done. And basically, what I'm doing right now is taking the last layer of coat off the base, um, getting it down to the complete skin. It, the, the hardest part, the hardest part is getting it down to the skin. Get it down all the way to the skin, um, where you can see the skin of it right there. And so that's, I've been working on with this razor blade because this is the kind of um, body that you don't want to put a sand on too much. I mean, I'm, I'm doing most of everything by hand. And doing it by hand is longer, <laughs> but you know, you get better results because you're doing it by hand. You can also see that the wood is separating right here. All right, so this had to be, I might have to end up breaking that apart and gluing it back together. Um, there is other ways like other things I can do too. Also, you can see right here uh, That I'm still taking the, the, the polyurethane off these bases were were sealed and Then polyurethane, but this is a 1968 And in 1968 this thing is undried the polyurethane doesn't cured and and you know you got you got to take it all the way to the meat. I mean, look at that. Although I can see the meat right there. You see it right there showing? I got to take all this off. All this need to come off. I need to see complete meat. And that's where the time consuming comes in, where you have to take this razor blade and go com and, and keep doing this until you get down to the meat. Because you need to get the meat. I need to get to the meat. All right, now, <clears throat> I already did the neck. The neck is done. All right, so it was it was in you know you can see the pinto pony stripes and stuff like that. That's that's water damage. That ain't going nowhere. That's gonna always be there. Also, you know most of the stuff is from him playing up in that area. But I left the sticker on. I didn't want to take that off. It's, you know some things you don't want to touch. Like the headstock, I didn't really want to bring it all the way down to the meat because that means that you know right now it looks vintage. Also because it was. It was under snow and in bad weather in a, in a garage. Um, the skunk stripe still coming up, so you got to, you know, you got to bring it down. The, the skunk stripe down. You see it peeling, but it's smoother now. You know what I'm saying? But it was actually coming up, and so you have to, you know, take a razor blade and chop and, and, and put it back down to where it's supposed to be, where you can actually smooth. I don't want the thing about this neck is I don't like touching it. Um, the mojo is right here, y'all. This is the most of the mojo. I would say this is 80% 80, 80 of the mojo is right here. And I could be a little shy and say, you know, I could go 90% of the mojo is right here. But this thing feels amazing. But I gotta put a nut in it. I had to take the old, the old nut was, was jacked up. I don't even know what I did with it now. But it's laying right here somewhere probably in the trash by now but the, the the old nut had broken off and so now I'm working on the new nut I had to put a new nut on it I'm looking for the old nut <laughs> she done nutted out and left <laughs> the old nut done nutted out and left all right so it's, this neck is pretty much done you know the only thing I have to do to it now is take some sandpaper and and, and smooth it out so that the clear coat can take it. All right, and make sure you know I don't have no dips or anything like that in it and, and scar marks, because a razor blade will leave scar marks. So I have to go back over it lightly um, with some sandpaper so I can get the scar marks out. If you can see the fresh, the fresh look really good. I mean, some of them you can tell they've been tampered with, and the the, the frets are green. So you know I'm gonna clean the whole thing, level it off before I, I clear coat it. And then if I click on it, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Clean the frets off and level them off again for the final setup. All right, but as far as this is concerned, I have a lot of work to do with this. Um, this one ain't too bad. Um, I, I, I'm down to the meat. And you can see that it, it had diodes in it, right? But they didn't put diodes in it because there's no diodes in this thing at all. It's crazy, right? So what I'm gonna do 
um, is I'm going to drill some more holes in it and put diodes in it so it, when I put it back together, it'll be completely sealed. Right now, she has a little crack in her. Now, I don't want that crack in. You can see it has a crack. I don't want that crack. So either I'm going to level one of these off until it comes completely together and then glue it and then impress it together and let it sit <laughs> for a couple of days. She got a lot of work to do to her, but she's uh 40% done. <laughs> 40%. The the major stuff is almost done. The the cleaning and the uh you know, getting the the the, the sealant and the clear coat off. This is the only piece I got left to really get all that done. This is not too bad. But this joint right here, yikes. So, you know, you know, I, I said these were diodes, but not, these are not diodes. You know what they are? <clears throat> that hole is for the pee pickup, and that hole is somebody drilled for the pee pickup. See, this one was drilled last. You can see right here that in the first one was not, the first one was real. This was somebody put in. See, it says natural. So, I'm gonna drill diodes in it because I don't want it to come apart again. So I'm gonna drill some diodes in it and then diode and then slam them together and glue them. That, that should be really cool. Interesting. So here we go, back to work again. John Lee Long in the Hobo Depot. Shut up, God. And it's early in the morning too, y'all. Well, back to work. Peace.